What if the greatest predator in Earth's history wasn't killed by a cataclysm but by a smaller, savvier rival? For millions of years, the colossal Megalodon, a 60-foot shark with teeth the size of your hand, reigned supreme in the warm oceans of the Pliocene. Its sheer power was unmatched, but its reign was not to last. As the planet cooled during an ice age, a new, more resilient contender emerged, the Great White Shark. This wasn't just a battle of brawn, it was a war of attrition. The dramatic climate shift put immense pressure on the Megalodon. Sea levels plummeted, destroying the warm, shallow coastal nerve it needed to birth its young. Its massive whale prey also declined, leaving the giant hunter starving, all while the more adaptable great white thrived in the cooler waters, happy to hunt seals or dolphins. The real twist? Evidence suggests the great white's juveniles directly outcompeted the megalodon's young for the same limited food, striking a fatal blow to the next generation of the giant predator before they could even grow. In the end, it wasn't a single asteroid, but a relentless, more efficient competitor that pushed the king of the seas into oblivion. What does this ancient rivalry teach us about who truly gets to inherit the earth.